I'd like to thank the police and the army and the whole security at large. Today, indeed, they have been very organized when Chiagula Nyibobwain visited Toru. Really, I request that even whenever other opposition members are traveling, let the security be organized like this. Even I thank UCC. This time they have not switched off one of the radios where Bobwain was, unlike in Imbarara. So I really thank the security. Indeed, today they have shown a very good discipline. I was surprised to see how the security have behaved today in Port Porto. They have not disturbed anyone in case they are just guiding us on what to do. Of which it was good for the supporters and the people of Toro. I pray that for the first time the security forces are doing what they are supposed to do. To act professionally and within the law and to ensure that they do not disrupt our activities. You can see that all the people who have been dying in our activities, who have been uh, maimed in our activities, have been getting those problems as a result of police and military interference. You can see today that people have gathered in thousands, in Barara, in tens of thousands, here in Fort Porto, in thousands, to receive our president and all leaders, and there has been no incident whatsoever. You've not heard that uh, there has been vandalism, you've not heard that uh, anyone's shop has been uh, uh, attacked or anything like that. That means that Ugandans are always peaceful until the military and police come in to disrupt our activities. So we hope that the police and the military will do what they're supposed to do because now you've seen they were just directing traffic and, you know, they are to, 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 to ensure that there is law and order. And that is what we expect uh, of them all the time.